There's a question that echoes in the hidden tabs of browsers, in hushed talks with friends, and across endless online forums. It's loaded with worry, old-school taboos, and a flood of sketchy advice. What truly happens to a man's prostate if he masturbates every single day? You've probably stumbled on the horror stories, claims that it weakens the gland, sparks endless inflammation, or even ramps up the odds of prostate cancer. The panic is everywhere, and it's no wonder why. But hold on, because today, I'm diving into the real science to set the record straight. And let me tell you, the truth is mind-blowing. It's the exact opposite of what those myths push. And it's backed by rock-solid research from top experts. Stay tuned, because this could change how you think about your body forever. To grasp this game-changing info, we need to start with the basics. What even is the prostate? Imagine a tiny, walnut-shaped gland tucked right below your bladder, wrapping around the urethra like a guardian. It's big gig, producing a key part of semen, the fluid that keeps sperm alive and kicking during ejaculation. It's crucial for reproduction. But as guys age, it becomes a hot spot for health worries. Issues like enlargement, infections, or cancer can mess with urination, sex, and overall well-being. No surprise, it's a source of so much stress. After all, prostate problems affect millions of men worldwide. Now, let's tackle those myths head-on, because they're not just harmless chatter, they're harmful. You've heard them. Daily masturbation drains the prostate, leading to chronic prostatitis, that painful swelling, or worse, it supposedly hikes your cancer risk by overworking the gland. Some say it causes erectile dysfunction or shrinks the prostate over time. These ideas stem from outdated moral views, pseudoscience, or cherry-picked anecdotes on social media. Why are they concerning? Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men globally, killing hundreds of thousands yearly. Fears like these stop guys from enjoying a normal, healthy sex life, including solo sessions, and might even delay seeking real medical help. For years, these tales went unchecked, but then science stepped in with massive long-term studies to crush them. Enter the bombshell research that flipped the script. We're talking about an epic study from Harvard University's T.H. Chan School of Public Health, the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study. This wasn't some quick poll. It tracked nearly 32,000 men starting in 1992, following them for decades with detailed health logs. In a fresh 2025 update with 18 more years of data, researchers zeroed in on ejaculation frequency from sex or masturbation and prostate outcomes. The results? Jaw-dropping. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times a month had a 19% lower risk of prostate cancer if it started in their 20s to 30s and a 22% drop for those in their 40s. That's huge, especially for low-risk cancers, and it held up even after adjusting for PSA tests, biopsies, diet, and lifestyle. This builds on their 2016 findings, which showed up to a 20% overall risk cut for high-frequency ejaculators versus those at just four to seven times monthly. And it's not alone. A 2025 review in the journal Cancers analyzed dozens of studies, including Australian and European ones, confirming frequent ejaculation ties to lower cancer odds. Far from damaging the prostate, it seems to shield it. These myths? Totally debunked. So, why the heck would more ejaculations protect the prostate? Scientists have solid theories, grounded in biology. First up, the prostate stagnation hypothesis. Picture the prostate's ducts as narrow tubes. Without regular flushing, fluids build up, trapping old cells, toxins, or carcinogens that could inflame tissue and spark cancer. Frequent ejaculation clears this gunk like a natural detox, reducing inflammation and cell damage. A 2025 MDPI review backs this, noting it prevents crystalloid buildup, those mineral deposits linked to higher cancer risk. Second theory, cellular turnover. Prostate cells divide constantly, and each split risks mutations that lead to tumors. Regular ejaculation might speed up healthy cell replacement, swapping out worn-out ones before they go rogue. Studies on gene expression, like one in European urology, show frequent ejaculators have profiles suggesting less tumor-friendly environments. Third, hormonal and stress angles. 
ejaculation spikes oxytocin, the bonding hormone, and tweaks androgens like dihydrotestosterone, which could block cancer pathways by inhibiting proteins like EGFR that fuel cell growth. Plus, it cuts stress, lowering body-wide inflammation, a known cancer promoter. The same review ties in endocannabinoids released during orgasm, which zap invasive cancer cells in lab tests. Together, these make frequent ejaculation a prostate ally, not an enemy, especially since masturbation avoids STI risks that might complicate partnered sex. That covers the long game for cancer prevention, but I get it. Many viewers are dealing with right now hassles. That nagging urge to pee, weak flow, nighttime trips to the bathroom, or that not-quite-empty feeling. These scream benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or prostatitis, and they're frustrating as hell. Daily masturbation might ease mild inflammation by keeping things flowing, but it's no cure-all. If symptoms hit, see a doc. Don't self-diagnose. Quick aside, if those issues sound too familiar, check out this eye-opening video on a natural remedy inspired by an ancient Asian protocol. It's a simple spring water-based juice that targets the hidden prostate clog, causing these woes, promising quick relief without meds. Is daily masturbation the ultimate prostate savior? Not quite. Science shows correlation, not ironclad cause, High-frequency guys might just lead healthier lives overall, boosting the effect. It's one puzzle piece, not the whole picture. To max prostate health, layer in these lifestyle wins. First, diet. Load up on antioxidant-rich foods. Tomatoes, hello, lycopene, berries, cruciferous veggies like broccoli, and omega-3s from salmon or walnuts fight inflammation. Green tea's catechins, proven prostate protectors in studies. Second, exercise. Aim for 30 minutes daily. Brisk walks, weights, or yoga. It keeps weight down. Obesity ups aggressive cancer risk by 20-30% and boosts circulation to the prostate. Third, ditch bad habits. Smoking inflames everything. Quit it. Limit booze to one drink daily. Excess links to higher PSA levels. Fourth, screenings. From age 45 to 50, earlier with family history, Chat PSA tests and digital exams with your doctor. Early detection saves lives. Bonus. Stay hydrated, manage stress with meditation, and consider supplements like saw palmetto, but doc-approved only. Weaving these in? Your prostate thrives in that daily habit? It fits right in as a positive. Wrapping up what happens to the prostate with daily masturbation. The science-shattering answer, nothing bad, and potentially a lot of good. Top research, like Harvard's updated study, shows it may slash cancer risk by 19, 22% at higher frequencies, debunking those fear-fueled myths. It's a natural, enjoyable way to support gland health, but pair it with smart living and checkups. No, it's not a magic fix, but it's empowering proof your body knows what it's doing. Loved this myth bust? Smash that like button, it fuels more content. Subscribe and bell up for notifications. You won't want to miss what's next. Drop in the comments, what other health myths bug you? Erectile dysfunction tales, testosterone myths, we'll tackle them. Stay informed, stay healthy. See you soon.